Welcome to SBS News in Easy English. I'm Amy Hall. Victorians will remain in lockdown for at least another seven days. The five-day lockdown was due to be lifted at midnight, but is being extended as the number of cases and exposure sites continues to rise. 13 new infections have been detected in the state. Premier Daniel Andrews says Victorians can't risk the outbreak getting out of control. We are all going to work very, very hard to have Victoria begin the process of opening up uh, at midnight uh, next Tuesday, the 27th, so seven days from midnight up tonight. South Australia will enter a week-long lockdown from 6pm today after another person tested positive for COVID-19. South Australians will only be allowed to leave their house for essential work, to buy essential goods, exercise with people from their household, or for medical or compassionate reasons. Five new coronavirus cases have now been recorded in the state, all of which have the highly infectious Delta variant. Premier Stephen Marshall says South Australia has no option but to go into lockdown. We hate putting these restrictions in place, but we believe we have just one chance, one chance to get this right. New South Wales has recorded 78 new coronavirus infections. At least 27 of the cases were infectious while in the community. 49 are linked to a known case or cluster. Chief Health Officer Dr Kerry Chant says people in New South Wales should be limiting their contact with others. Whilst it is in human nature to engage in conversation with others, to be friendly, um, unfortunately, this is not the time to do that. One new community case of COVID-19 has been detected in Queensland. The case is a fully vaccinated Queensland woman in her 20s who'd visited an exposure site in Melbourne. She spent two days in the community while potentially infectious visiting several places on the Sunshine Coast and in Cairns. Acting Premier Stephen Miles says the risk of community transmission in Queensland is now in people who visited other states with outbreaks. But it is absolutely critical that anyone who has travelled to Victoria, New South Wales or now South Australia uh, monitor those websites uh, for which contact locations are of concern uh, and follow those directions very, very closely. The Australian government has joined several of its allies in criticising China over global hacking activities. The United States, United Kingdom, European Union, Japan, NATO and Australia are all blaming China for a series of cyber attacks on Microsoft Exchange software in January that affected thousands of computers and networks around the world. The federal government says the activities by China's Ministry of State Security are malicious and concerning. I'm Amy Hall. This is SBS News in Easy English.